Hello YouTubers and welcome to Dave from Destination Vlogs, also known as Geeky Bricks. As you can see on my top, uh, my other channel is actually Geeky Bricks. That's my main channel, um, certainly presently. I've got over 10,000 subscribers on that channel. Um, obviously all things related Lego, mainly Lego haul videos. Now this is going to be a haul video, a haul video of a different kind. These are all things, or some of the things I've bought from... Amazon, I think these are all Amazon. I do buy quite a lit for a bit from Amazon, look out for some of the deals and bargains, obviously some of the things I want um, or like at the time or may need now or sometime in the future. So as my haul videos are quite popular on Geeky Bricks, I thought I would bring you the alternate haul videos. So we're gonna give that a try, see if you guys enjoy these videos and if you do, let me know in the comments um, on this video. <laughs> Sorry. Big tongue tied there. The comments on this video with regards to whether you actually do enjoy this video and you want to see more of these. What I intend to do is just unbox these. Some of these sets I will do an actual unboxing of the actual set itself. But just to share with you what I've been buying over the last week or so from Amazon. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so first thing to point out there, you can see that top box is actually opened because I didn't know whether it was Lego in it or other items that happen to be a combination of both. So if you're a subscriber of my Lego channel, Geeky Bricks, if you have a look there, you'll already see this um, partially opened up um, on that channel because there was a Lego set in there as well. So I took the Lego set out and shared it on that haul video, but this is the remainder in there. And I'm recording this actually straight after um, I've just recorded the haul video for the Lego channel. So let's take a look what's inside that box first and then we'll have a look in the rest. Okay, so getting straight into it, first up we have got a, quite simply, a USB 2 repeater cable. So this is a, it's called a repeater cable, it's like an extension cable really for a USB lead. Um, and this is to um, hopefully run a Nest Cam security camera that I've got, which I want to put outside. Um, so there's that, something actually links into that, is actually what's in this box. Um, this is actually a nest cam and drop cam, uh, it's a case effectively, it's a case, an outdoor case, waterproof case that you can put a nest cam into, a nest cam are awesome in my opinion, uh, I've been quite impressed with them, I've got a couple of those now, um, the only downside is if you want to have the footage recorded you have to subscribe to them on a monthly basis or an annual basis. Um, differing obviously tariffs for I think it's 10, hour, 10 days or 30 days. Uh, recording uh, time that you can have um, but yeah the Nest products I quite like um, there are going to be some actual unboxings that I've already done and recorded just need to get them uploaded for some of the Nest products I think Nest Cam might be one of the ones I've done now I've certainly done the Nest Protect um, and I will probably do the Nest Thermostat as well because um, I've also got that which I um, need to get installed um, but anyway so this is I will just open it up just so you do know what I'm talking about, hopefully, um, or perhaps not. Um, I'll do a separate video on this, um, an unboxing of it, because I don't want to take too long on this video, but it is effectively a case. It says they're uh, drop cases uh, with magnet plate, uh, back plate. Um, it's what the little nest can goes into and you can put it outdoors. So that in conjunction with that will hopefully allow me to run it outside and have a long enough cable. Um, next thing we've got in here is simply some Nerf bullets. Um, we've got quite a few Nerf guns in our house. Certainly my two sons, my seven year old and my four year old love playing Nerf guns. And I love playing Nerf guns with them too. So we've got some more bullets because we do tend to have some Nerf wars around the house. Um, the next thing in this box is a or Vibo, not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Let's just come closer to this table, an or Vibo. But it's a Wi-Fi smart socket. So this is obviously here in the UK. I'm assuming they do something similar in other countries like the USA, for example. The great thing about this, you can't actually see it too well because they've got the barcode over it. Um, as you link this up to your smartphone, um, I've got an iPhone, so it's linked up to my iPhone. And you can then um, control obviously what's whatever is plugged into um, the or vivo socket you can either press it turn it on and off manually um, that there is actually a button on the actual unit 
or what I do is you control it from your smartphone. You can simply turn it on and off from your smartphone or you can actually set a timer. So set the plug to turn on at a particular time or turn off at a particular time, different days of the week, etc. But um, it's been great for this time of the year because I've got quite a few Christmas lights um, in and both inside and outside of my house. So I've been using these um, to control those lights and it's been awesome. So I bought quite a few of these. Um, so there's another one. Um, the final thing in this box is an Xbox game and it is, sorry, Xbox One game, Fallout 4. I've got an Xbox One, so um, this was on a bit of an offer on uh, Amazon, so I've got hold of a copy of that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to um, become friends, whatever you call it, on Xbox One, um, and I'll share my gamer tag with you. So uh, Fallout 4, I also got, um, which we already got out of one of the boxes, and I've been playing with it, and it is an awesome game. Absolutely love it um, so far, which is Just Cause 3. Um, fantastic game, really, really, really enjoying that. Um, but anyway, let's get the next box up on the table from down there and share what's inside. Okay, so next up we've got a very large box, and I will say now it is a very heavy box as well. I'm actually going to stand up to uh, open this up. This will probably take a bit of lifting out. So this is something, again, which was on a special deal. Uh, one of the Amazon lightning deals, I think it was, or deal of the day, I'm not entirely sure. But I did actually need one of these. So I needed one, it was on a deal, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it. Um, there's lots of uh, packaging. Bubbles. We love bubbles. Right, I'm going to try and get it out because it's heavy. Just put it over on my chair for a minute. Get this box out of the way. Chuck that down there and then get this up on the table and you will see what it is. Nothing fantastically amazing. Bit of a damaged box there, which isn't too great. Got a bit sticking out the side of the box there. Let's hope that's not damaged inside. Looks like it might be scratched a little bit. But it's hard wearing tool anyway, so as long as it works, I'm not going to be too fussed with that. But anyway, it is a circular saw. Um, so yeah, I like I said, did need one of these to do some DIY at home. I've got quite a bit of wood that needs to be cut. Um, so yeah, got this Evolution circular saw. It is heavy, so it is a fairly decent size one, but it can cut wood um, and uh, metal. So different types of metal. It actually says yeah, it can cut up to three millimeter steel. So wow, uh, and wood of different fixes, can cut it in angles and all sorts. But anyway, so like I say, got that from Amazon. Quite a good deal. Um, did need it. Um, quite a bit of wood that I need to get cut and cut to size, etc. So. That's why I decided to get that. So let's get the next box up and see what else I've been buying. Okay, next box. Like I said, they're all from Amazon. So what else has he been buying from Amazon? We will soon see. Ah, that's what I was talking about. I thought I'd already unbox this. Ah, clearly not. Um, but anyway, so uh, I mentioned this earlier. It's another Nest product. I thought I'd unbox this, but I obviously didn't. <laughs> but anyway, um, so it is the Nest Thermostat. Um, again, this is the third generation of the Nest Thermostat. Awesome product, I need to get it installed. Um, I was thinking about doing it myself, but I probably will get a professional to come in and install this. And um, so we actually, there is some, it's not just the thermostat um, that we need to get installed. There is a, I think it's a heat exchanger or something like that. Um, that needs to be fitted as well, so I'd rather get the professionals to do um, that. But um, I want to get this installed, and this is one thing that I will definitely do an unboxing video. Um, but then, when I've got it installed, I'll do a review on this over time, hopefully, just to show you guys, first of all, how it operates. But this is a, as I said, it's a learning thermostat, so this kind of learns your heating patterns. Um, certainly, I say heating here in the UK, we don't have much cooling <laughs> that we need to do in the UK. Not many properties have air conditioning in the UK because you don't really need it here, um, but certainly heating. But it will learn your heating patterns and it claims to save you, I think it's in a region of 20% um, on your fuel bill um, per annum. So it can pay itself back over, I don't know, maybe a couple of years, two or three years. Um, um, 
but yeah, and again, it can link up to an app on your phone, um, which I'll be doing so you can control it remotely as well, set the heat and set timers, etc. etc. So it does look like a really awesome product. And to be perfectly honest, I've watched quite a few, uh, few review videos on YouTube, mainly in the States, not too many in the UK. So I will get a UK review video on that done at some stage but yeah so that's what was in that's that box the nest third generation thermostat so let's get the next one up okay next one what have we got in this one and i have to say this is only a few of the things it was only uh, the last couple of days that i decided you know what i'll start doing haul videos to share with you guys like i said on my geek channel you guys certainly seem to enjoy these Lego related hauls, so I'll show you all the other mad things that I buy. Um, a lot of them are spur of the moment, I can be an impulsive buyer at times, but impulsive but also things I think, you know what, um, I think that will make a difference in how it'll actually be used. Um, so, so I've got a couple of things in here, but first off we have got uh, broadband extenders. Now in my house, I do suffer a bit with certain areas the broadband really does drop out. I have got high speed broadband here, allegedly, although I would uh, beg to differ. But anyway, uh, so I bought a, some of these um, extenders, uh, broadband extenders. Um, effectively, and this is supposed to be a dual kit. Uh, anyway, it's supposed to be a dual kit. There's certainly two, but I assume there will be more than that, four maybe. Maybe I've got that wrong. I think it might be. Broadband extender. Anyway, um, so that's what it is. So I can obviously get better broadband in other areas of the house, like our bedroom, for example, um, which is at the far end of the house, and we do the centre drop out. Um, but I'll try it out, see what that's like. If it's good, then I will obviously let you know. So that's the first thing in that box. Apart from packaging, right? So I've also got a couple of. Uh, that was on a special deal as well. Most things I buy are special deals, by the way. Um, it says Samsung, but it's not going to be using a Samsung device. It, it does say that it can be used in pretty much any device. But it is a micro um, SD card. And I'm hoping these are going to fit. Maybe should have uh, checked first. But anyway, hopefully they will do. Um, I've got a couple of um, kids, Fire HD, Amazon Fire HDs. Um, one each for my boys for Christmas. They only come with eight gigabyte, or certainly the version we did, with eight gigabyte um, storage on it. So, um, and, but you can cut put SD cards in it. So these are 64 gig each. So that will obviously give them a lot more capacity. Hopefully, if these fit, fingers crossed. Um, but I got these for a very good deal um, from Amazon. Really impressed with the price that these were for 64 gigs. Um, so yeah, two of those, one each for the Fire HDs. Um, and I've also bought a, another, I've uh, got a couple of these bits, uh, I don't know, in some respect we can never have too many of these nowadays in the digital world we live in, um, but a, a portable hard drive, um, USB 3.0, and it is one terabyte, um, as you can see there, but this is a very durable, tough um, portable hard drive, supposed to be military grade tested. Um, so yeah, I've damaged a couple of these in the past. You can actually see it there, actually there. Showing that as a bit of a drop there, just to show that triple protection um, that it's got on this, but one terabyte. Um, I need to get mainly photos and videos because um, they'd be the main things that I would be disappointed with if I lost onto those, because I've got something like 15,000 photographs, digital photographs, um, which I will be devastated if they went. So let's keep the video running and we will get the next one up. Okay, let's get this opened up. Let's see what we've got in here. Whee! Oh wow. So, we've got more Nerf bullets and we've got a massive pack. 75 um, elite darts in there, so uh, my boys will be uh, over the moon when they see these. Uh, we've got quite a few, but we seem to be losing a lot of the darts, or a lot of them are bent and broke and not really that great now. Because um, we do love to have our uh, Nerf Wars, and yeah, you can see some of the Nerf guns there. Um, but we've got quite a few. Maybe we'll share you a Nerf War video at some stage. Let me know again in the description to this video. That's the type of thing you'd like to see. So let's keep rolling and get the final package up. It's a small package. 
Um, so I think I might know what's in here. As it's so small and thin, could it be a DVD? Could it be an Xbox One game? Could it be both? And it is an Xbox One game, so it is Xbox One Star Wars Battlefront. So this was recommendation actually, I wasn't mm, overly keen from what I've seen, but a few people that have got this and played it, um, I said it's awesome, a few people on my um, Geeky Bricks channel have commented that this is good. Um, obviously Lego Star Wars is a massive theme in Lego. So some of those Star Wars fans have obviously got this and they've recommended this, so that's why I've got it. So I've got that, but I actually got the hard case edition. So I also get the hard case that comes with it as well. So you can see really cool hard case, obviously empty, um, because that comes out of that and goes in that. Yeah, real cool image there of Darth Vader. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty awesome actually. So Battlefront for the Xbox One and I think, looking around, that that is the final package to get opened up for this video. So let's just stand those up. They can go right there, like so. Um, anyway guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Um, let me know you did enjoy it. Any comments, questions or feedback, leave down in the comments um, section on this video. Did you enjoy this? Do you want to see more of these videos? Like I said, some of these I will do further unboxings and maybe some reviews. I don't know, like for example, that hard drive I could review, say, is it good? Is it user friendly, um, etc. Um, the smart Wi-Fi plug, which I just realized is upside down up there, but never mind, I'm just spinning it around. Um, that's awesome, so I could show you that. Um, being reviewed. We could even show you, like I just said, one of our crazy um, uh, Nerf battles. Um, they are awesome. Um, anyway guys, thanks very much for your support. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit that subscribe button and show me your support. Um, I've mentioned my other channel a few times, Geeky Bricks. Um, please go ahead and take a look at that channel. Um, and hit the subscribe button when you're there too. And again, links down to other social media in the description to this video. Anyway guys, that's it. That's it for now. Um, and that just leaves me to say thank you very much. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye for now everyone. Bye.